wall of death. Most of us could barely get over the smallest rocks, but Tim Coleman decides to ride along this row of rocks. Tim's incredible balance from his trials riding is immediately apparent. And when he does put a foot down, he does this very strategically. Tim has already scanned for all the possible places he can put a foot if needed. His partner in crime, Chris, is spotting for Tim in case there's a big fall. It's easy to break a collarbone from that height. Again, very strategic foot placement. Waiting and de-waiting over the big gaps, then Tim really picks up the speed over the relatively easy section. Nice, a front wheel hop, very difficult in that position. The crowd <laughs> goes wild. I went through Tim's coaching several years ago and it's fascinating to see how all the techniques can eventually lead to this sort of trick riding with enough practice. Right from the basics of body positioning, covering the rear brake and your hand lever positions through to technical skills like balancing at a standstill. The trial skill that's essential for riding along this rocky wall, but it also has a huge impact on almost every aspect of dirt riding. Why? Because it refines your balancing skills so much. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can fucking buy you a two stroke and it'll make you super happy. Tim then shows how all of this translates into cornering and doing tight figure eights. Any coach with a trials background will tell you that if you want to ride fast, first learn to ride slow. Tim is no exception. As you master these skills, Tim definitely ramps up the pace for things like advanced hill climbs. If you and your riding buddies are serious about your riding technique, get enough riders in a group to get Tim to fly in and show you some seriously good dirt riding shit.